Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, December 24th, 2009. This morning I'd like to take a look at parsing XML and in particular how to handle problems with XML that you get. So it's a lot harder to find bad XML on the net now than it was a few years ago. It used to be that when I looked at RSS feeds there would be plenty of bad stuff and that's really why I wrote a more tolerant XML parser. But now it's a little harder. What I did is I downloaded a feed, I inserted some bad characters into it so that I could show you this. So let's go ahead and highlight all this code do an inspect to try to get the results of the parsing and you see that it says you know there's an illegal Unicode value in there that's not good now in most cases where this was happening a few years ago and in fact where it might still happen now would be bad characters in a feed you don't really care about that if you're talking about something like a news aggregator or any kind of customer facing display of data you might care more if it's something like financial data interchange then you might want to just reject it out of hand but if you're talking about something like displaying news or just basic content to people, you probably want to be able to ignore bad character values. Well, how do you do that? It turns out if you go in and load a package from the store repository, so let's connect to the public store, and we'll load a parcel. And the one we want is called Tolerant XML Parser. So we'll go ahead and grab the latest version of this, and you see I've got an accidental fork here, which I probably need to resolve, but let's load this. Now with that loaded, let's scroll down a bit. Same kind of code, I'm going to take the tolerant XML parser, I'm going to turn validation off, and then I'm going to parse the exact same content. So I read it in from a file earlier, now I'm going to read the same exact stuff. Let's do this, inspect, and you see it went ahead and merrily read it in. Now let's take a look at what's going on. We'll open this up, and we'll take a look at tolerant XML parser down here in the browser. And you see what I've got here is I've got the tolerant parser, you've got error handling, so if you've got a malformed, it just reports it. If you've got here the element processing character entry, go down here. I've got a modification whereby if it's got this illegal character, it just skips it. So the idea is that if it finds something it's not allowed to process, it just throws it overboard and keeps moving along, which for the kind of parsing I'm doing is perfectly adequate, for some other cases may not be point I'm trying to make is that it was not that hard to go ahead and create a tolerant parser as a subclass of XML parser, add some error handling in here for a whole bunch of general errors that I didn't care that deeply about, and just move along and ignore them. If you care about these, you probably want to use the straight XML parser. If you'd like to be able to just skip past them, this is a nice little tool to use. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.